<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. We're here today in that country I can't pronounce. It sounds like Galapagos. Galapagos? There we go. I think I actually got it that time. Anyway, we're uh, about to head out into the Celestial Sands with Prince Ferris because he can't do anything on his own. Does appear to be rather cheerful considering what lies ahead. Yeah, that's because he's probably going to hide behind a rock while we do everything. There you are. I've instructed my men to wait outside the city gates. Come and join us as soon as you are ready. Okay, um... Uh, I'm, I'm ready, dude. Let's rock this thing. I'm going to make an absolute fool of you, probably. But... If you're lucky, your men won't say anything. I need no disrespect, your highness, but... How could you do this to us? <laughs> you have volunteered us for certain death. Yeah, probably. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Oh, so you're going to be up front with them. Ha! Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. I just want to point out. He says all this, and presented in front of these trained knights in full armor, is a child, someone who is obviously a thief and or beggar because of the way he's dressed, some random dude in a riding cloak, and a girl dressed up in a belly dancing outfit. Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! For Galapagos. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they shared my enthusiasm in that, apparently. Yeah! The dude is an idiot. I'm almost afraid to help him because I feel like I'm doing no good for this country at all. Silvando! I knew you were too or too ornate There's to not no be a party character. A beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely patronizing little deer? That's what I try to be. I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Mm, yeah, come on. Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling. And I doubt it's going to give us just, like, limitless party characters, so at some point we're probably going to have to start choosing who we're going to add. I don't know who I'm going to rock with yet, because I like... I like the little balance we've had going on so far. But no, I saw Silvando on the loading screen this time, so I did know he was supposed to be joining us at some point. I just didn't realize it would be that soon. I want to fight one of these, though. A Spitzfire! Oh, this is the thing! I don't remember who it was I needed, uh, pepped. Ow. Oh. As long as he keeps attacking Savando, though, we've got no problem at all. If anybody knows of a way to track Pep, because I don't. Like, how to tell when they're supposed- when they're going to be pepped up. Because at the moment, I've got nothing. Like, I... I know it's something that can happen. I just, I don't know if there's a way to tell when they're about to. Dang, Eric. Oh, I should have had her attack with the spell first. Okay, there's one. Oh. Okay. And real quick, there was another one over here. I'm gonna go fight him too. If I can get this whole pep thing going, then I can complete a quest. Which I would like to go ahead and knock out. Let's keep 
And he's awake now. Wonderful. We're gonna try... That. Because if I can stop him from using magic, that might help, it might not. I don't know yet. Okay, awesome. I need accelerate on you. Can you attack someone else, please? This is bad. This is very bad. Veronica. Hurt this thing, please. Thank you. You did not hurt it enough. You did not hurt him enough. Go ahead and heal up our good buddy Eric over there. And for abilities... Uh, no. Oh no, no, no! Ah, this is bad. Don't hit him again, please. Okay, thank you. Ooh. Man, this is bad. I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna actually have to go back and deal with, like, reviving everybody after this. Oh my god, that was terrible. Like, don't get me wrong, that could have gone slightly worse if I had really tried. But, I mean, we're talking, like, really tried to make that worse. Hey, Prince, uh, buddy, I, I need to heal. A lot. I don't think that's the way that works, man. Okay. That's right. You get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. Sabano, shut the hell up. Come on, you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? I, I still need to heal. Like, I desperately need to heal. So who are you? Two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How <laughs> romantic. But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans. To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester a whole life story. We barely know him. Veronica, nobody asked you. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> You've got a strange idea of fun. I'm, I'm kind of with Eric on this one. Um, what about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? Oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kiddies. Betty buys. Uh, oh, 
Way to evade, man. Way to evade. He has a story to tell. That much is clear. I don't know when we'll get to hear it, though. Well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? There is no telling, dude. Morning, campers. I hope you slept well. We've got ourselves a slayer to catch. Little Princey Poo and his friends set off at first light. We'd better hurry if we want to catch up to them. So basically, if we want to keep old dude alive, we need hurry. The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. Then he is still here. The cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. That's not how this works, dude. Oh, yay. Giant snake? Um, I'm confused. Giant beetle, maybe. Giant beetle thing. Our principal show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. Oh dear! Looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. What about five? Because I'm guessing you're now considering yourself part of the group. Oh, dang, this thing is huge. Careful now. I want to make sure everybody's on follow orders. All right. We're going to sap. Oh, it worked. Oh, thank you. That hurt. Uh, we're gonna accelerate you. And you just keep flame slashing this guy. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and hit him with Rubber Rouser. Oh, Ooh, that was a good hit. And then we'll go with Decelerate. Oh, so we brought his speed and his... Uh, uh, Whatever the other one was. Defense. Accelerate Eric. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can prevent him from using magic. Apparently not. I don't know what Dazzle does yet, so we're going to try that. Probably affects his evasion and accuracy, if I had to guess. Oh, he deflected the flame. Okay. He's... Okay, he's still down everything. In that case... Okay. Eric is blind. Everybody else takes that. So we're gonna go with... Heal. Oh, hey, look, my time at Porsche finally downloaded. Which I may be doing videos on that, I haven't decided yet, but I did at least download the game. Uh, you know what? 
Yeah, missed. I figured it wouldn't do anything good. Savando, so, thank you. Veronica, sap him again. Heal Eric. Savano takes no damage. Eric, can you... Yeah, you still can't. Dang it, dude! Uh... How much health does this thing have? Dang, he didn't hit shit with Silvano that time. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Hit him with Rebel Rouser again just for the hell of it. Okay. Yeah, he's still got all of that going, so... Sure, we'll try bang. And then you can do... Thank you, Savando. Does he still have everything? Nope, decelerate him. <laughs> Sorry. Serena's blinded. Okay, so we can deal with her being blinded. Because she uses mostly magic. I need you to go ahead and heal Veronica. Thank you. And Pep is gone. Hit this thing. Dang. What if I use Ooze Buster? Since it's an ability, does it... Okay, it still works. Uh, let's see. Very Sharp Icicles... We'll go ahead and click with that again. Clocked it. I made myself laugh. Oh god, no. Kill this thing. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Hit the hay. Try it again. Not enough. That hurt a lot. Uh, whoosh him. And there he goes. Holy crap. That was a much more difficult fight than I was expecting. 1440 experience. Yeah, y'all better level up from that. Trunks learns bang. Three skill points. Oh, yeah. Eric increases. Learns a new spell, Cockadoodle Do, which probably wakes someone up. Three skill points. I feel Three skill points. Ever. And she learns fizzle. Uh, no, we'll, we'll continue on. I'll do character builder in a minute. Good lord, though, that was a lot harder fight than I expected. <sighs> that will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. Silvando is a weird one. 
That's a lot of chain to come from that little bitty bit you had in your hand. <laughs> the battle is won. The slayer of the sands is bested. All in a day's work for the prince of Galopolis. <laughs> The people who defeated it are still standing in front of you. You saw me, man, did you not? You saw the people? Uh, yes, your highness. Of course, your highness. <sighs> How about credit where credit is due, Prince? <sighs> you have my thanks, friend. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your valuable contribution. <laughs> your being praised would not have been possible without me doing the thing that they're praising you I for. I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. Your assurances don't count for much, dude. Just saying, they really hey, don't. Principal, that's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? No. <sighs> no, don't disappoint them, but show them, like, who you really are. I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. <laughs> Your father was a martial prodigy, men, so... We you're not going to be able to match him. Yeah! Most likely. With your abilities, you won't. Like, that's what they... You know, like, the story... The little bit of stories I've heard about it, his father was an expert horseman and, oh, and swordsman. All kinds of wrong. You're right, Silvando. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. What are we planning to do? Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves. Yeah, you go <laughs> on and do your thing, dude. Oh, hey, we're back to the town and... It's just picking up right immediately when we walk in the door. And that's a gigantic... That's gotta be a beetle, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> hmm. yeah. The future of our kingdom is surely safe in the hands of one so gallant and chivalrous as he. Now come, heroic conqueror, address your people. Beloved Gallopolitans, yes, I captured the beast, but I did not act alone. <laughs> For it was your love, your adoration that gave me the strength I so needed. Yes! Wow, you got so close to telling the truth, man, and then you just ganked it. Uh-oh. And it is that same love that will allow me to continue serving you until my dying death. He's back. You guys need to run. We have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. Oh yes, God. Yes, we have nothing to fear with the prince on our side. Faris, your whole world is about to come crashing down on top of you. Well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. Put up or shut up time, buddy. Father. Father. I cannot. Repeat after me now. A nice word. 
<laughs> a knight's worth is his bond, his kingdom, his master. Hmm? Huh? 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 <gasps> Where? Don't stop. <laughs> Serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and and never retreats in the face of adversity. That's more like it. Now, my little principal, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? To be remembered as a knight of Columbus. Come on, dude. Yeah, you might be in trouble. that dude uh Silvando darling you were wonderful <laughs> amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it huh wait did you He's a little dumbstruck, isn't he? I'll always be here to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? Mm -hmm. That's actually... Wait! A friend! Where did you become so well-versed in the ways of chivalry? Are you a knight? He's a circus performer, man. Silly old jester. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, cool. Silvando is, uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, I knew he would be strong comparatively for where he came in the story just because of the way these things work, but. Yes, father. It, it was he who rode my horse in the Southern National, and he who captured the Slayer of the Silence. Forgive me. Oh, Ferris, look at me. The burden that was placed upon you, it was more than any boy could be expected to bear. It is I who must apologize, not you. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. I will not make the same mistake again. And it seems there we you go. have learned something too, despite your protestations. The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. I mean, Sir you did Eric like... will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. Your dream will come true at last. I am so pleased for you. Hendrik. No. <laughs> Hendrik. Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Ah, but I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. Certainly, certainly. But my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. What? What? What would compel a royal you treasure and you sell it to a travel treasures. oh my god are you blind boy did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's sand national we made a sacrifice for your sake you sold a national treasure to pay for a horse race father i <laughs> where did the merchant go and do you still have the gold and with that you sold it to him with. All I can Four. tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. 
That's something, I guess. This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads there. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. He probably sold it. That's kind of what merchants do. They buy things and sell things. Uh, uh, ow. A thousand pardons. I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly, I did not. Yeah, that one kind of threw me for a loop. It is scant consolation, I am sure. But please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan knights. It allows one to provoke distant foes into combat, and is an excellent way to gain battle experience. Or so I am told. <laughs> Ooh! Crossbow. I can make use of that, I'm guessing. Kingdom a great service. Should you ever need our assistance, you need only say the word. The word. And as for me, I will be sorry to see you leave. But I'm sure there will be other Gallum. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Kindly travelers along soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. These guys are, yeah, they, they are something. I will, I will say that they are something. Because I think that's gonna do it for today. I hope you're enjoying Dragon Quest XI. Uh, when we come back, we'll pick up here and head off toward Gondolia, which is going to be, um. Let's see. Oh, I didn't need I did not mean to cast zoom. That's nearby areas. Galopolis region. There we go. So we'll head off like we're headed towards Celestial Sands and just cut off there. That shouldn't be very difficult at all. Yeah. So we'll head off toward Gondolia, see what we can find there, and we are still and we'll try to find this merchant that the Sultan sold a royal treasure to, so he could find a horse race. But until then, guys, like I said, I hope you're enjoying Dragon Quest XI. If there's anything in particular in the game you'd like to see, be sure to let me know in the comments. That way, I can try to get I can try to get there. Uh, no spoilers, please, though, because I don't know how this game ends. I've never played it before. This is a blind run. Other than that, I look forward to seeing everybody next time. And until then, as always, have a wonderful day.